Hey guys, it's Billy. I am out here today for a special lightning round all about the one and only Sarah Jessica Parker. But because it's Sarah Jessica, we're not playing for a dollar. We're playing for a shoe. Are you ready, Sarah? I am ready. Let's go. Miss Sarah Jessica Parker. Hi. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hi. Yes. yes. For, for a shoe. For a shoe. Who did Sarah Jessica Parker play in the movie Hocus Pocus? One of Bette Midler's sisters or Barbara Streisand's maid? Sister. Yes, yes. Here's a shoe. Here's a shoe. Take this shoe. Oh, she has a smoothie. What a shock. A shoe and a smoothie, the story of white women. This is the movie Footloose, she played Rusty. No. Nope. Sarah Jessica Parker. She's right here. Oh my God. Yes! What did you thought I was lying? I you ain't getting no shoes! Sir, it's Sarah Jessica Parker. Do you care? Do I care? Yeah. I care about the park. No, not the park. Sarah Jessica Parker. She knows Helen Hunt. Oh, it's Sarah Jessica Parker. Do you care? I love her so much. Yes, oh, so gay. She's my favorite person ever. So gay. Miss it, Sarah Jessica Parker. Do you care? Sorry, no thank you. Oh, oh, all right. Well, come and no, that's right. Some people hate you. Miss, do you love Hocus Pocus? I love it. Yes, give her a shoe. Give her a shoe. Take the shoe. Second. Yeah, fashion. Hocus Pocus. Oh, my God. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Jesus. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Oh, sir, it's Sarah Jessica Parker. Do you care? Oh, uh, not really, so. Oh, okay, all right. Someone doesn't like Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Billy Eichner, and this is Billy on the Street. And now it's time to hit the street and play my favorite game for a dollar. Here we go. Miss, for a dollar, am I gay? No. Oh, now I am. You are? Yeah. Hard to tell. Are you kidding or what? <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't know what you were implying. <laughs> okay, I can see it now. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. Here you go. Miss, you have to take a photo with me. I can't. I'm you have so to. You have to take a selfie. I don't do selfies. Why? I am not photogenic. Please, please, I need you to. Fine. Please, please take one. Take your, ca take your camera out. I am so late for work. You make me. I don't work. care. I need you to take a selfie with me right now. I need you to post it immediately. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, give me a second. <sighs> Seconds, man, seconds. Okay, seconds, seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Selfie. Yes, post it. Post it. I got to see it go on there. Come on, Facebook. Come on, Facebook. It is there. Okay, you, thank you. There's your dollar. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, for a dollar, do you think Charlize Theron has a lot of female friends? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. You don't have to be such a dick about it. Miss, you can bottle whatever Ellen Pompeo has. <laughs> oh, that's right. Deal with it. For a dollar, will you love me when I'm no longer viral? Uh, uh, love you? Yeah. When you no longer what? When I'm no longer going viral. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. You will? <laughs> Thank you. Here's your dollar. Thank you. All right. You. Okay. Hope floats. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Billy and I am out here today in Lower Manhattan where hundreds of thousands of immigrants have come over the years only to find out that our Comic Con isn't the main one. And I am here today with such a special guest, I cannot tell you how excited I am to have her here. She is, I am proud to say, one of the biggest Billy on the Street fans in the entire world. She is known for, calm down. She is known for so many memorable, memorable performances in film and on TV, everything from the First Wives Club to Hocus Pocus, and well, that's pretty much it. Of course, she's probably best known for her now legendary role in a phenomenon that became so much more than a TV series or a movie franchise. Of course, I'm talking about her landmark role as Nell Fenwick in the big screen adaptation of Dudley Do-Right. Please welcome to Billy on the Street for the very first time, a woman I really love of the magnificent Sarah Muhammad Atta Jessica Parker. Assalamu alaikum, Sarah Jessica Parker. Shukran, shukran, shukran. Yes, thank you so much for being here on Billy on the Street. I maybe you were going to say, ladies and gentlemen, Mary Louise Parker. Oh, no. And then look down in utter disappointment. No, are you mistaken for Mary Louise Parker a lot? Yes, yes. Is that true? Well, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, similar names. Yeah, three. Are you a three Weeds names. fan? Um, Say no more. <laughs> God, that laugh I'm going to have to deal with for three hours. Oh, sorry. Quit while you're ahead and let's talk about sex in the city, too. Now, I have a couple of questions. I've Hold on. We're going to have a serious conversation about this. Now, I've always wanted to talk about this. I, a, a massive Sex in the City fan, that show, you know, it's filled an emotional void for so many of us. Now, I wanted to ask you this. Now, when that movie came out, it had a lot of criticism, right? 
And That's what I understand. I didn't read it, but I gleaned from the look on people's faces. Well, I never... This wasn't good. Well, I never understood it, I swear. And it always made me so angry. And I was wondering, you know, how, how it affected you or do you care or do you not care? Because it made me very upset because I, I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed everything Sex and the City. Maybe it was a little over the top. It was like a, on a road trip movie. They went to the Middle East. Did, did it affect you or? Um, I, I think what was surprising was uh, the sort of level of vitriol that I understood. That's what I mean. Leveled at it. Um, but my- It was ridiculous. Let me tell you what I think. I felt that, no, this is serious, and I've been thinking about it, and I think enough years have passed now- You can openly discuss it. As now. a nation. And um, I, I, well, here's what I think. I think that that show had dealt so well in such a smart, sharp way in dissecting guys that I think uh, bros, all the bros out there, like really like the chance to like jump on it finally, I, to a certain degree. I think so, and I think that also- there And they- you know, people said, oh, I don't believe them going to the Middle East. I have one guy, a friend of mine, who's like into sci-fi. He's like, oh, it's not believable they go to the Middle East. I said, oh, you can't believe they go to the Middle East, but you believe in Chewbacca? You turd. They can't go to the Middle East. You believe anything that happens on some planet George Lucas made up, but you can't believe that Kim Cattrall would film for a few weeks in Morocco? I'm serious. I'm so glad to finally be getting this off my chest. Do you know what I mean? I do, and you're, you're saying things that I would never have had the courage to say. You're, yeah, yeah, you're damn right I am! Anyway, I like the movie, and I hope you do another one. Thank you, and it, it, it did make an enormous amount of cash. Oh, why don't you shove that down our faces? We know you're very rich! It's not me, I'm just saying that. It doesn't explain why you're out there begging people to buy your shoes. I should have prepared myself for this. Uh, it is uh, magical and wonderful to have you here, seriously. But now it's time to play a game. A game that I like to call Santa's Reindeer or Sex App. Okay, so here's how the game works. I'm going to read you a name. Some of these are names of one of Santa's reindeer, allegedly. And some of them are names of popular sex and dating apps. Do you understand? Yes, I think If you think it's the name of one of Santa's reindeer, you say Santa's Reindeer. If you think it's a sex app, say Sex App. Correct. Yes, correct. Santa's reindeer or sex app. If you get enough right, you win a big prize. You've seen the show a lot. Let's see how well you do. Maybe I get that diorama. Okay, no <laughs> dioramas for you. Who are you, Julianne Moore? In my dreams. Yes. No, everyone's... Here we go. Don't, don't, don't. No, no, no. That's my shtick. Sorry. Unbelievable. Oh, you want to say it? Hold no, on no, a second. I don't. I want to be here live in your company. And stay in the moment. Santa's reindeer or sex app. And away. We oui. go grinder. A uh, sex app. Yes, correct. Prancer. Uh, Santa's reindeer. Yes, correct. Donner. Uh, Santa's reindeer. Yes, correct. Tinder. Uh, uh, sex app. Yes, correct. Blitzen. Uh, Santa's reindeer. Yes, correct. Scruff. <laughs> um, it's a sex app. Uh, yes, correct. Yes, a ask Andy Cohen about it. Comet. Uh, Santa's reindeer. Yes, correct. Zeus. Uh, 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 oh, a sex app. Yes, correct. Vixen. Uh, Santa's reindeer. Yes, correct. Dasher. Santa's reindeer. Yes, correct. Christian Mingle. <laughs> Sex app. Uh, yes, correct. Happen. 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 Sex app. Yes, correct. Cupid. <laughs> Santa. No, no. No oh, sex app. No, Santa's reindeer. Okay, Cupid. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay, Cupid. I know. Answer the question. Sex app. Yes, correct. Um, 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 um Rudolph the Red Nose. Well, for God's sakes, it's a Santa's reindeer. Yes, correct. Did she win? Yes, you win, SJP! You win Santa's Reindeer Sex App! But there is somebody actually keeping Santa. Yes, there is! His name is Doug! No other show wants him! We gave him a job just to be nice. Let's see what you win when you win Santa's Reindeer Sex App. Oh, if you love Tickle Me Elmo, you love Tickle Me L. Ron Hubbard! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. yes, if you love Tickle Me Elmo, you'll love Tickle Me L. Ron Hubbard. It's the gift that keeps on giving. You're in Hollywood. It was bound to happen sometime. Yes, let's listen to him. <laughs> we deserve tax and drug status. Yes, 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 yes. They really do. Yes. Well, thank you, SJP. Enjoy your Tickle Me L. Ron Hubbard. Thank you. Yes, he invented Scientology, for those of you that don't know. Thanks for playing. We'll be right back. I think SJP laughs more than the Tickle Me L. Ron Hubbard.
We're here in Manhattan where nature is confined to one large rectangle and we're all fine with it. What's your name, Miss? I'm Tina. Oh, Tina, and what do you do in New York, Tina? I'm a singer. Oh, wow. Uh, like professionally? Professionally, I swear. Okay, all right, all right. You're wearing a lot of makeup. You're very dressed up. Were you on your way somewhere exciting? I am. I was actually working on a documentary about my group. Oh, wow. And what's your group? I woke up like this, I swear. Okay. okay. <laughs> what's your group? It's called the Glamazons. Okay, and what's that about? It. We are a pop girl group, and we're all curvy girls. Okay. Yeah. Never going to work. And what do you do as, like, a day job or, you know, to make money? To make money, I'm a fit model, a plus-size model. Wow, yeah. that's a fun job. It is fun. Okay, and are you single? Do you date, lesbian? What's the deal? No, I'm married. Oh, to a man. To a man. What does he do? He is bartender. Oh, wow. Yeah. Who's bringing in the dough? That's the question everyone at home has. Anyway, so uh, do you want kids or no? Yes, eventually. You do? Okay, how old are you, if I may ask? I'm 30. Oh, you have time. Right? Not a ton of time, but time. I'm working it. And what type of music do you sing in your band, the Glamazons? So pop music. You do your own song? Yeah, and covers. Okay, can you give me a little taste of one or no? Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, geez, Louise, you put yes. me on the spot. Louise, that All right. bitch. That bitch, that was my dog. Oh, was it? That was a bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to the music. All right, now, can you give me a little taste of song or something? All right. Okay, okay. Uh, Anything will do. All right. Oh, no, here's our single, Movie Star. You can get it okay. on iTunes. Okay. All right, super poppy. Like a movie star, driving up in a racing car, making out with the hottest blonde. So it's not about the lyrics, okay? More about more about the music. I love a catchy tune. <laughs> you got to. All right. And do you think Kathy Bates is jealous of you? She should be. Okay, here we go. What's your name again? Tina. Tina. All right. Here we go, Tina. This is a game I like to call Kevin Hart Tweet or Gabby Giffords Tweet. We all know Kevin Hart is one of the most popular comedians today, and Gabby Giffords is the former congresswoman who heroically survived an assassination attempt. Now, they're two of our most humble public servants, and they both tweet a lot. So I'm going to read you a real tweet. You have to tell me if it was tweeted by Kevin Hart or if it was tweeted by Gabby Giffords. Do you understand? Got it. Okay, here we go. You like Tina Fey? Yeah. Yeah, she's not plus size. <laughs> no, she's not. She's not. No. Not, there's, I mean, I have nothing wrong with happening. people being plus size. No, you shouldn't. Not at all. You shouldn't. You made a career out of it. I have, As, damn it. Yes, that's right. If you were Melissa McCarthy, you'd be like, uh, just stumbling and rolling around on the floor for $20 million. You know what? Get that paycheck, girl. I agree. I'll be right behind you. Can you believe Melissa McCarthy still has to do Mike and Molly? Isn't that amazing? You know, well, do your thing, girl. I don't what think so, no. You don't do your thing if it's on CBS Mondays at 9.30. You know, you're a movie star. Word, got it. Okay, just like your song. That's it. And that's the second and only time anyone's ever going to talk about that song. Okay, here we go. Kevin Hart tweet or Gabby Giffords tweet. And away. Don't ham it up. Okay, this is TV. Don't, you're not selling it to the back row. Here we go. Kevin Hart tweet or Gabby Giffords tweet. And away we go. Is it a bad thing that I'm getting hard when I think about how unbelievably funny my movie Get Hard is? Don't judge me, damn it. Hashtag Get Hard. Kevin Hart. Yes, correct. Stories of past courage cannot supply courage itself. For this, each man must look into his own soul. President Kennedy, hashtag, an idea lives on. Gabby Gifford. Yes, correct. Two years ago, Malala was attacked because she refused to be intimidated into silence. Today, she's an inspiration. Gabby Gifford. Yes, correct. My dog's ass smells like shit tonight. She won't stop farting in her sleep. She keeps catching me with my mouth open. F my life. <laughs> Kevin Hart. Yes, correct. Back on the hill today to sign cards for the many women who will spend Mother's Day at domestic violence shelters. Gabby Gifford. Yes, correct. I just had the most random, dopest thought ever, people. If you walk by or ride by a Get Hard poster today, I want you to take a selfie with it. Kevin Hart. Yes, correct. Yes, correct. Don't do that black thing with your hands. Uh, thank you, World News Tonight, for honoring music therapists who do so much to help people get better. Gabby Gifford. Yes, correct. What were your favorite quotes from the Wedding Ringer? Let me hear them, people. Make sure you use the hashtag Wedding Ringer quotes. Kevin Hart. Yes, correct. Wow, I am blown away by this cover, Men's Health Mag. This is why I was going so hard in the gym, people. Kevin Hart. Yes, happy birthday to the great state of Arizona. It's 103 years old today and gorgeous as ever. Hashtag Arizona Statehood Day. Gabby Gifford. Yes, I'm loving the shit out of Berlin right now, people. The road to becoming an international success is still in session. Kevin Hart. Yes, correct. 20 years ago today, astronaut Eileen Collins became the first woman to command a NASA spacecraft. Gabby Giffords. Yes, saddened by the passing of Sarah Brady, a brave voice for common sense and, re and responsible laws. Gabby Giffords. Yes, correct. About to go live on Power 105 in New York with DJ Envy, Charlemagne, and Angela Yee. Tune in before I thumb somebody's nugget. 
Kevin Hart. Yes, correct. Mark and I are lucky to have a second chance at service. In our new book, we write what we're doing with that chance. Gabby Gifford. Yes, hashtag get hard, hashtag get hard, hashtag get hard, hashtag now playing, hashtag now playing. Kevin Hart. Did she get it? Yes, you win. Yes. You win, Tina. Yes. Win. Let's see your prize. Oh, it's a courtroom sketch of Kay Walsh's improv days. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Thank yes, you. Yes, look at this. Kate Walsh's Improv Days, it's a courtroom sketch of those. Wow. She was on Grey's Anatomy. She was. And then Private Practice. Yes. But she started off doing improv. That's fascinating. Yes. Oh. God, you're like Megan Trainor without millions of dollars! <laughs> well, thank you so much, Tina. Thank you so thank much. Thank you for playing Kevin Hart, Tweet, or Gabby Gifford, Tweet. You did a great job. Thank you. <laughs>Hey guys, it's Billy, and you know there's nothing I love more than the holiday movie season, so I'm about to hit the streets and talk to people about the movie I'm looking forward to most, the new Chipmunks movie, The Chipmunks Road Chip. Here we go, let's go. Miss Chipmunks Road Chip is coming out. Oh yeah? New Chipmunks movie. No way! There was uh, the Squeakquel, and then there was Chipwrecked, and now this one is Chipmunks Road Chip, because they go on a road trip. Wow, how many more puns can you make? I, I don't know, kids like the Chipmunks. Oh. No, good for kids. Okay, well, if you know any kids, will you tell them to go see the Chipmunk movie on Christmas? Sure, why not? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Sir, the Chipmunks movie's coming out. Yeah? Another yeah. one? Yeah, another one. They had the squeak wheel chipwrecked, and now there's Road Chip. Look, there's another... another new, new Chipmunks movie. Yay! Yay, everyone loves the Chipmunks. All right. You guys gonna go see it? I guess so. He's gonna probably wanna go see it. It's such a great family movie. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna go see it then. Okay, great. Tell everyone you know. All right, sure will. Thank you. Thanks. Kiss. Can I get a kiss? Right. Mm, no? Miss Chipmunks Road Chip is coming out. Oh, I've got some chipmunk with a microphone in my face. Yes, you do. Thank you. Miss, Miss, the new Chipmunks movie's coming out. Hey. <laughs> yeah, Chipmunks Road Chip, it's called, because they go on a road trip. Exactly, exactly. I love it. So, you know, if, if you know any young kids, you know, kids in your family, please tell them to see it. I'll let my nephew know. He's yes, he will love it. Old. He'll totally love it. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, more. Mm -hmm. Not like that. Okay, oh, okay. Excuse me? Are you a squirrel or a chipmunk? I'm a chipmunk, bitch. Sir, the new chipmunks movie's coming out. That's nice. Yeah, chipmunks road chip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kids love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So if you know any young kids, please tell them to go check it out. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Chipmunks Road Chip, you got that? Got gotcha. you. All right, it'll be out on Christmas. Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Mm, oh, oh, okay. Miss New Chipmunks movie's coming out. You look really hot. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I'm adorable. It's so f***ing adorable. Yeah, Alvin, Simon, Theodore, they're all back. Favorite. Oh, I love Alvin. He's the star, you know. To be honest, they f***ing annoy me. What are you talking about? Know, their voices are f***ing bitch. That's really rude. Excuse me, you just said I the think chipmunks. I would agree with me. They're f***ing Oh, they actually don't. It's a their charming voices family. Voices high pitch. There's high been high four movies. Family there was the squeak wall, bitch. So Get movies. away from me. Miss, the new Chipmunks movie's coming out. Cool. Road Chip, it's called. Yeah, so they, they did the Squeakquel, then they did Chipwrecked, and now they're doing the Chipmunks Road Chip because they go on a road trip. Excited. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Ah, oh, yes! Hey guys, it's Billy. I'm here in New York City where my YouTube videos led to me getting a TV show which people watch on YouTube. And I'm here today with one of the greatest guests we've ever had on the show, ever, and one of the most obsessive Billy on the Street fans alive, the one and only, the beautiful Sarah Jessica Parker. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. That's a lovely intro. Yes, I'm a lovely person. And uh, thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's my great pleasure. Well, thank you. And now it's time to play a brand new game, a game that I like to call Hansel or Gretel. I'm gonna read you a fact. You have to tell me if this fact refers to Hansel or Gretel from the famous nursery rhyme, fairy tale, whatever the hell that was, Hansel and Gretel. Okay, fantastic. If you think it refers to Hansel, you say Hansel. If you think it refers to Gretel, you say Gretel. Understood. Don't make this about you. Okay, are you ready? Yes, it seems rather uh, intuitive. <laughs> yes, if you get enough right, you win a big prize, SJP. Here we go, Hansel or Gretel, and away. We go. He's a dick. <laughs> Sarah? I'm unsure. I never met him. I Sarah, Hansel or Gretel? <laughs> I'm 
Actually, you're a nice thing to me. You, you don't even know Han Solo. But I heard he wasn't treated very well. Excuse me. You don't know his backstory. <laughs> Han Solo. Yes, correct. She's a f bitch. <laughs> you are not good at this game, and you are off my show. Go away, go away. Go back to scripted television, where you belong. Go back to scripted television. Goodbye. Pushing Sarah Jessica Parker into the gutter. Bye. Sorry about that. You're no longer welcome here. Careful, there's a truck. Don't get kid. No, Sarah. My God. I have an idea. Yes. It's possible someone might have confused Gretel for the person that stuffed her in the oven. Can I be honest with you? <laughs> You're a bit much. That's Sarah Jessica Parker. That's Hansel or Gretel. We'll be right back. She's not welcome on my show. You want to see her? Go to HBO On Demand. Watch those episodes you've seen nine million times. We'll be right back. Failure to launch. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker, come here and touch my sweaty body. Really on the street.